Dear student, today we will start from the soil types 9.3 article number and generally soils we will divide soil depending upon the size of the particle mainly. Okay, let us read the topic first and then we will explain it. As you know, weathering of rocks produces small particles of various materials. These include sand and clay. The relative amount of sand and clay depends upon the rock from which the particles were formed, that is the parent rock. The mixture of rock particles and humus is called the soil. Living organisms, such as bacteria, plant roots and earthworm are also important parts of any soil. Okay, so what is the soil? What is the definition of soil? The mixture of rock particles and humus is called the soil. First of all, I have told you my, in my second video that how the soil is formed. It is deriving from the rocks. It is due to weathering of rocks. And it includes two types of particles, sand and clay. And relative amount of sand and clay depends upon the rock from which the particles are formed. That is the parent rock. Okay. With this sand and clay, some humus already I have told what is humus so humus is added and this is the good mixture of rock particles and humus and this is nothing but called the soil now soil classified in the basis of the proportion of the particles of various sizes yes size matters here if you if the soil contains greater proportion of big particles it it is called sandy soil so we can divide a uh, soil depending upon the sizes of the particles then it will be divided into mainly three parts sandy soil loamy soil and clay soil so first we'll start from sandy soil uh, bigger to smaller it contains big particles as it is big particles they are showing that okay read it first the soil is classified on the basis of the proportion of particles of various sizes if soil contains greater proportion of big particles, it is called sandy soil. If the proportion of fine particles is relatively higher, then it is called clayey soil. If the amount of large and fine particles is about the same, then the soil is called loamy. Thus, the soil can be classified as sandy, clayey and loamy. Now I have drawn the sandy soil. The particles of the sandy soil the particles of the loamy soil and few particles of the clay soil just see the figure and you can see you can observe that sandy soil particles are quite larger they cannot fit together and uh, there will be a space in between the particles a larger space so air can penetrate into this area in this space so these are lighter well aerated and also the water pass through i have told you this this is lightweight well aerated and also the water can percolate through this sandy soil if now for the clay soil and give emphasis on the clay soil you can see the space in between the particles is very very less air cannot stay there as clay particle being smaller packed tightly together leaving little space for air unlike sandy soil water can be held in the tiny gaps between the particles of the clay so that's why clay soil is heavy not well aerated little few little air contents in this clay soil and of course it retains the water so water cannot pass easily through the tiny spaces so what water can be held in between the spaces of the clay soil and loamy soil what is the characteristics of the loamy soil it will be in between the sandy soil and the clay soil you can see the spaces in between the loamy soil particles are in between the sandy soil and the clay soil so all the properties will be moderate and it stays in between sandy soil and clay soil the base topsoil for growing plants is loamy soil soil 
also has humus in it it has right water holding capacity for the growth of the plants so for the cultivation of the plants we choose loamy soil for maximum cases because it has the right water holding capacity it is not less not greater a proper water holding capacity it has and another type of soil particles are there that is the silt silt occurs as a deposit of river beds the size of the silt particles is between those of the sand and clay okay now go back to the previous text now read this portion the size of the particles in a soil has an influence on its properties sand particles are quite large they cannot fit close together so there are large spaces between them these spaces are filled with air we say that the sand is well aerated water can drain quickly through the spaces between the sand particles so sandy soils tend to be light well aerated and rather dry clay particles being much smaller pack tightly together leaving little space for air unlike sandy soil water can be held in the tiny gaps between the particles of clay so clayey soils have less air but they are heavy as they hold more water than the sandy soils the best top soil for growing plants is loam loamy soil is a mixture of sand clay and another type of soil particle known as silt silt occurs as a deposit in river beds the size of the silt particles is between those of sand and clay the loamy soil also has humus in it it has the right water holding capacity for the growth of plants now there is a activity and this activity mainly that is working with the soil so now read this activity this collect samples of clay loamy and sandy soils take a fistful of soil from one of the samples remove any pebbles rocks or grass blades from it now add water drop by drop and knead the soil fig 9.4 a add just enough water so that a ball fig 9.4 b can be made from it but at the same time it should not be sticky try to make a ball fig 9.4 c from this soil on a flat surface roll this ball into a cylinder fig 9.4 d try to make a ring from this cylinder fig 9.4 e repeat this activity with other samples also does the extent to which a soil can be shaped indicate its type can you suggest which type of soil would be the best for making pots toys and statues so can you suggest which type of soil would be the best for making pots toys and statues it will be according to my opinion it will be clay soil because the size particle size is very small tiny and they have much water holding capacity so that's why they will stick together and it will not broken down we can shape it differently and it will be easy for us to do that that's why we will choose clay soil uh, so up to this today student so next day we'll discuss about the next topic that is the 9.4 properties of the soil so thank you for watching my video so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button share and comment it and of course subscribe my channel for next upcoming such type of videos thank you